Christmas dick? Yeah. Oh. What are we gonna... I don't know. How do you... Stupid I just wanted to give you a Christmas dick. <laughs> Christmas dick. Chloe, off no. to the show. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Boneyard Arcade Podcast. It's a Christmas special. As always, I'm Lucky. I'm Chloe. I'm Graham. And I'm Josh. Welcome to the Christmas special. Can we I can't play carols because we'll get copyrighted. <laughs> oh, that's can, right. can I say my crappy Christmas joke then? We've already you cracked can. open the Christmas crackers and I'm not talking about Josh. Top. Spinning, spinning, spinning top. It's still spinning. Oh, is Jesus. lit. Is it a fidget spinner? Uh, it could be. <laughs> it I'm, I'll start been. fidgeting. <laughs> Chloe, tell us your shitty joke. All right. What happened to the turkey at Christmas? Got stuffed. No. Got eaten. That would have been so much better. He got gobbled. Oh. This is ass. I don't even get it. Shitty turkey joke. turkey's gobble and gobbling but is I'm eating. I'm aware of that, but I don't understand how Christmassy it is. Because you eat oh, turkey sh- at Christmas. No, I you forgot don't. I had antlers Yes, on. you do. You eat seafood. What? I yeah, sure. Anyway, um, <laughs> so guys, where do dogs go for their shopping? <sighs> the, hmm. Hang on. This I actually want to guess this. This is a very brand specific joke. That's why uh, I know where these, these crackers came from. Oh, where? The reject shop. Uh, no, wait. I know why, because I bought them Wolfworth. Wolfworths? Woolworths. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's a piece of shit. Oh, fuck, I hate Christmas. <laughs> why did you lead me down the path of getting the joke wrong? I don't know. Yeah, what the fuck? Is this, oh, it, you bought it. It's almost the same color as your shirt. It is. It's like it was meant to be. You did I, good. <laughs> Go team. Uh, welcome hey, to the Christmas much episode. Use for yeah, them. this is way better. Wait, yeah, I didn't get sort, one. Sort that out. No, it's not working. Only two. Can't. We ripped it already. Chloe's going to flop Chloe, her boob right on the show. Chloe, you, wait. wait. <laughs> Let's get this Chloe, sorted. It doesn't work. You what ripped it. Here? Yeah, you it's can busting. try it with the purple one. Wait, dumb cunts. We can do. We can do. That's you a good point. You can do this after. After. Sorry. When Dan plenty, goes through the noggin. There's plenty of time for this. Put your hat on. So yes, many Christmas so things happen hat. later. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, I'll put yeah. my layers back on. We're all wearing hats. How cute are we? We are. Mine's Christmassy because it's red. Ow. It says Sesh Gremlin on it. <laughs> and is, is it a joint? Yeah, it's a joint. I, <laughs> is he, he's got a joint. He's got a joint. I'm so glad that they included the joint. Yeah. I was like, I thought it was just a cigarette. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. It was a joint. Yeah. It's a sesh. Yeah, it's having, he's having a great time. All right, uh, so uh, on this episode, obviously, we'll be doing the nogginning in uh, part two of the podcast, but right now we are going to talk about Aquaman, we, which we went to the premiere of. Woo! Woo! Yay. That was whelming, you guys. I'm fucking whelmed. I am. Just it was, we're building up so to the property. overwhelmed. Oh, were you overwhelmed by it? How did everybody find it? What did you do with your hat just I now? have to flip it up. I can't hear. All right, fair enough. <laughs> it's getting some air. Yeah, That's well, great. I don't... My ears, my, my ears don't need to ear. My Wrong element. Anyway, water. Anyway. Agua. Agua. Let's, let's speak to agua. Anyway, uh, Aquaman. Let's do it. How'd you find it? I thought it was cool. Um, we went to the event that had Jason Momoa at it, which you might have seen. <gasps> he's always like, his personality is always great. Um, I've seen in all of his Instagram stories as well. He's constantly like making this. It's kind of like a Kiwi accent. Yeah. Where he's always, he's talking like, you know, like Kiwis do with a full blown Kiwi accent. And he's just having fun. He was doing it for the event as well. Yeah. Um, he wore pigtails. He's down to earth, dude. He's fucking massive. He's, oh my God, he's so beautiful, though. And like all of his bodyguards. Like, yeah. <laughs> just like, why are they we, there? We walked past the dude and Chloe was like, I think he's with Jason Momoa. And I looked at him <laughs> and he was like scratching his head like this. And his arm was like, <laughs> and he was bald and tall and massive. And when I stood next to him, I came up to his peck and I was like, <laughs> yes, I believe he is with Jason Moore. But the movie itself, I thought was interesting. That the- means bad. No, no. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I enjoyed it. But at the same time, it was an, uh, another DC film where it was kind of like, they smashed us with the CGI and gave us awesome action scenes. And I was... I was overwhelmed by the sharks with lasers. <laughs> that was my favorite part. It was like <laughs> sharks with freaking laser beams on their head. I lost my shit. I was like, it's happening. It's happening. Yeah. I actually think I fell asleep during that bit. No. I was I so over and I'm like, tired that day. I fell asleep three times during the film. And it wasn't because I was bored. It was because I was genuinely like, I would have, I would have died. Like I was doing Gary. my best. It was a comfy seat. What do you want from me? <laughs> Plus, we got uh, truck tops with glitter on them and shit. Yeah, they oh, were so cool. That just there was a, there was a photo in a tweet, but yeah, they they were like sparkly gold on the outside, like his armor, and then you bite into them, and they were green and and like, like minty. Sp- and yeah, shit. minty. So they were like. I yeah, gave mine to thing. Dan. I don't like chocolate. And tops. then really? I like you two of them. Well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I left it for like 10, 15 minutes. Forgot oh, no. about it, and then was like, "Oh, Chloe gave me a chalk top. I'm fucking eating this." <laughs> I opened it and bit into it, and I just went. 
Yeah. <laughs> like down my face and I was like, well. You got a cum even, shot. Even yeah. my first one almost <laughs> did that. And I was like, oh God, I cracked it. And it was like watching Ice Age. It was the yeah. whole edge just <laughs> broken. It suddenly started melting out from all the sides. It's like watching Ice, Ice Age. Yeah, <laughs> where Scrap puts his little acorn in and it. Wow. <laughs> it's a great movie. Everybody should go watch Ice Age. Brilliant Christmas film. Moves. We'll get to that. Sloth. Josh will do that while we're driving and, and somebody's going real slow. It's like, move, sloth. And I'm like, is that an Ice Age reference? He's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Aquaman, how so did you my, find my it? My thoughts on it. Um, the very first thing I noticed was, and I whispered it to you, was I think it was 60 frames a second. I don't know what that means. Everything looked really jittery yeah. and flowy, and I didn't like that at mm-hmm. all. That just does not work for me in a, in a film. Yeah. Um, the CGI was... Hmm... Overwhelming. It was a lot. It was I a lot of I just didn't like the, the lighting on the a lot of the stuff. Like, they, when they were on the, that... Warfy thing. This will be no looked, spoilers, by the yeah, way. Yeah, this is just not spoilers. Not a spoiler. You know, they're on some <laughs> warfy thing, and you know what? Guess what? Warfs are by the sea. Surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> the lighting just did not match up it for me. Work, it just yeah. something about it, and the 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 focus was I don't know the clarity of the background to the foreground. There was something about it just didn't look right to me. Yeah, and I don't know what it was, but it the CGI was just not doing it for me. No, I would agree with you there. There did seem to be like a lot of imbalance with how things were framed and imaged and stuff and like it was a lot of cgi to handle like mm. it actually hurt my eyes yeah um like the movie itself i thought the story like every kind of dc film in my opinion was a little lackluster yeah um, I agree. but in saying that i felt it kept very on point compared to other ones we've seen in the past yeah. too it kind so, of like wow. it didn't it, <laughs> it, it, it was kind of weird when it was like it went off in different directions but it kind of stuck to the same story i kind of felt with some dc movies that i've seen in the past it's kind of like just fucking do whatever. Who gives a shit? It's yeah. a DC movie. Make it fucking CGI. Everyone will love that shit. Yeah. Well, like, it just I find with a lot of DC movies, they like you said, they throw something in there and then they just really, they cover it very shallowly. Yeah. Shallowly even a word. But they like, just kind of sk- skim yeah, over it. It's a very it. big glance because they're trying to overwhelm you with things like the CGI and the action and stuff mm. to make you forget that there is meant to be something that they're keeping on track with. So, yeah, yeah. like, I liked it. I liked it more than Mortal Engines, which I know you disagree with. <laughs> Yeah, but I just I just feel like DC movies miss the mark. And even like with Jason Momoa, as beautiful as he is, mm-hmm. like kind of like he did everything he could to oh, yeah. to make it a good mm-hmm. movie. He's, he's give him credit he was for great. That. He was really fucking think, yeah. good as Aquaman. I don't mm-hmm. think it was bad either. I want to make yeah. that clear. Yeah, like, yeah I, I don't think it was I a shit. I did not no. think it was a bad film, yep. but it was just a little bit like there were a lot of things that just took me out of the moment a little bit yeah. as far as from a technical side that was that was what i was gonna say i don't think it's a bad movie i enjoyed it mm. um i would definitely recommend going and checking it out because it is a On fun film screen yeah, as yeah. Well. yeah yeah it's a fun film one thing that i had to remember after i watched it was this is supposed to be a movie set about a guy who practically lives under the sea so mm. there is going to be fuckloads of cgi because oh, yeah. it has to be underwater yeah, like, yeah exactly that's, yeah, it's like makes sense just stick him in a pool and fucking give him snorkels or yeah. some shit i think <laughs> my, biggest, more real. my biggest thing was that they didn't make us care enough about everything that surrounded him yeah the people that surrounded him the place he comes from yeah that's where they lacked a little bit of depth in building a place that we care about like i, I give a shit about gotham one because when batman is in gotham you know he's there having to defend the people that live in Goth- uh, Gotham from really evil people. Yeah. But you also know that those evil people were bred by Gotham City and the way that it's treated them. Yeah. And the lives they've had in there. So, yeah. so you give a fuck about that place to start with. When we were looking at like Atlantis and everywhere else under the sea, it was literally just like neon stuff underwater. Yeah. In really futuristic settings. Yeah. Um, and I looked at it and I was like, I see it, but do I? am I supposed to care about this part of the place he lives? Am I supposed to care about like where he's going? You know, like I found the one character that I cared the most about was his dad. Yeah, that yes. was that was you know like what? I was yeah. like the, the emotional attachment that I felt the most was his father, yeah. and he's that was he's really in the beginning beautiful. and he's in the end. Yeah, so With, yeah like, it was a shame you didn't get to see enough of that, especially yeah. the relationship moments that they shared. Yeah, like, it was that really was actually sweet. very genuine acting to right? me. Mm. Like, like I think that was probably one of the best parts of the movie to see. In saying that, I want to add, I thought she would be utterly crap. Amber Heard was awesome. She was really good, but her wig fucking yeah. bothered me the whole time. I, I was like, all the that's, wigs a, that's an odd wig that's just been... She was much more red in this film too. Yeah. Right? She was like an orangey kind of redhead in the other... In Justice League. In Justice yeah. League, right? It, it, was it a looked bit of an more natural. Red. I can't remember. Justice League. She was, very remember. briefly. Remember she came in the bubble and was just like, you can't do this. 
in Atlantis. I, all I remember well, of Justice League was like being two feet from the screen and only being able to focus on one corner one because part, it yeah. was like, <laughs> we were a long way back for this one too. And so for, for you to say that the CGI was overwhelming, like as far as a, just taking it all in kind of thing, surprises me a little bit. Only because we were so far back, but I do kind of see where you're coming it from. It was an yeah. assault. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff on that It's screen. like, let's go lasers and lots of sharks and shit. And I'm like, ah! Yeah, I pity and the people in the front two rows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you, you watch the film and there is, like, so much CGI that goes on that there are points in the movie where you don't know what's happening or you don't know whether you should be rooting for the people that are currently on screen or the ones that are about to be on screen or the ones that were just on screen because sometimes things pop up and you're like, is that good? Is it bad? I've not yeah. met this yet. Who like, is what the this person? Is this? What the yeah. fuck is happening? Yeah. There was one shot in this film that I remember like pretty clearly. It was my favorite shot from the whole whole movie. And I'm mm-hmm. not going to ruin the storyline on it, but it's it's a point where they have uh, flares in their hands <gasps> and they're swimming downwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the shot just shows above, <laughs> underwater, what they came from and where they're heading all in one shot and it's just amazing yeah. it was lit beautifully it looks so nice it was really cool mm-hmm. I think God. you might have actually been in the bathroom for that I think point. I was because yeah, yeah. I don't remember that at all <laughs> yeah, yeah. it and was I, a great I saw that shot. and I was like wow that's my favourite shot from this whole, Fuck, whole movie man. just because it looked so cool God. yeah it, was there, it was the one with a lot of darkness and the flare was pretty much the, the light source it was, yeah, it was a it. light travelling downwards yeah. and there was yeah. they were just surrounded yeah yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. that was like I know the one you're talking about I saw that and I was like that's sick that's one thing I remember about like the graphics and being like, oh, I, I love that. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, fun movie. The above water scenes were my favorite in this film. Mm-hmm. Not the not the below water scenes, the yeah. ones you know where Fair you know, they're up on land. Yeah, thought that was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's fun. I don't know if I'd go and see it voluntarily a second time, but usually I do be <laughs> anyway because I've got like siblings who want to see these movies. Yeah, and, you know, other people who want to see these films who didn't get to come with us. They're like, oh, I want to see it, so like, okay, yeah, go watch it. I. I would happily see it a second time, but I probably wouldn't like take yourself to go out yeah. of the way to see it. A yeah, second yeah. Time. yeah. I'd you'll be sit, going. You'll sit through it again. Yeah, though, like, I would go. Happily, I would go be like, because okay. I'm going with friends. But yeah. it's it's that kind of a movie. I wouldn't. Yeah. I could say like if I had to go back to Predators, I wouldn't see that movie even if I got to hang out with the stars from the film. I don't think I was stars that. with the film. That's what I mean. I don't remember. I don't like, even. I don't which, think which I even saw Predator. Predators. Predators. The second, the newest one. Ugh. That's a piece of shit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I'm just really? relating it to something that I'd never go again. To, so, yeah. <laughs> so. Something I would never go again is Justice League. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, Batman vs. Well. Superman. Yeah. Didn't no. even see it. Wouldn't ever see it. I've had Batman vs. Superman on my like screen. I've watched it. Yeah. Like seven times. Yeah. But I'll put it on and then like after the intro music, yep. I'll forget that I've started it and just yep. not watch it anymore. It's just on in it's the background. Just in the then. background, yeah. I saw it in IMAX and I just remember sitting there and being like, I just don't care. Yeah. I just, I'm just not invested. But then Wonder Woman fucking comes along and I'm like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> they still reckon that's probably the best standalone DC movie. I think in it's the past, been like, done three, the five, best. Three to five even, years. even though like the end of Wonder Woman was kind of like, eh, when like the final battle with um, Eris or whatever his name was, I was just kind of like, eh. Yeah. I didn't like the, the bad guy in it, but I fucking loved it every minute up until that point yeah mm-hmm. i think it was done really well so i was um me. i was saying to chloe after we'd finished the movie the one thing that i i feel sorry for when it comes to dc is that their superheroes are so much bigger than life because they're all gods and whatever yeah. else that their villains have to try to match Be up that to that way. yeah that's probably the beauty again between batman and joker is that they're both human but like they're, they've got this thing yeah the rest don't have that ability or that luxury. Yeah. They have to fight people who are bigger than life. Yeah. And it just means that we're going to see bigger than life movies full of CGI and fuckery and, <laughs> and not get yeah. you know, stuff we can relate to or connect with. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of kind of sucky. But. And I, I look at things like that and then it makes me think of like, contrary to like, uh, uh, like in the same vein as um, superhero movies are like fantasy movies and yeah. things like that. Things like Lord of the Rings and shit like that. Mm-hmm that's a world where I kind of look at and relate to because it's, I don't know. I feel like fantasy is easier to connect to than like the, the, the aliens and stuff that exist in comic books. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah, know if that yeah. makes any sense, but like, I share like, your sentiments human, as well. Yeah. Like step up from human kind of level of alien. Yeah. Where it's like yeah. just human body, but they can do all this cool like stuff. Yeah. Orcs and goblins and shit. Yeah. And I think <laughs> I that's what ruins besides the other obvious stuff. Um, <laughs> I think that's what ruined, fuck, I can't remember the name of the movie now. Had Will Smith in it. Men in Black? No, it was a DC movie. Oh, Deadshot? Oh. Hancock? Hancock. No, 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 no. The DC, wait. like the oh, team. No. The Suicide, fucking, oh, Suicide, Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. The I'm like, what the fuck? Like, What's I, the I, I even like? said Deadshot. I'm just like, yeah. wait, that wasn't a movie. That's a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a character. That 
annoyed the fuck out of me because I was like, there's actual humans in this who some have special abilities, others walk around with a fucking baseball bat or they <laughs> shoot a, a rifle off their wrist. Yeah. Why Shots put fired. them up against an ancient fucking god? Like, yeah, it's like, I'm a Tammy <gasps> god. It's like, well, send the guy who shoots good and yeah. the crazy girl with the bat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I never understood in that film, like, it. Is it normal for them to fight demigods in that universe? Because I, 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 as soon as I realized it was like an alien, and I mean, I get that there, you know, there are sort of monsters and aliens and weird stuff going on in that universe, but it was like, you don't fight. That's like leave that to Doctor Who. Yeah, leave that to someone else. Like <laughs> that is the this most is, British answer. That's a, you I love that's a Doctor Superman Who. problem. That's a love Superman it. fucking problem. Like, yeah, it's even a Batman problem. That's just, who's got the ability to take care of that. Batman's yeah, fucking rich. What's your superpower? I'm rich. Yeah. But Batman for me, I mean, you know, again, I am quite limited on this stuff, but like Batman for me is normal person who is just off the rails is who he's fighting not yeah. like you know godlike entity that like, man's everyday evil so it's yeah, like it's normal humans who are just dicks kind it's of not like full-blown <laughs> things that can yeah. destroy Joker's worlds just a dick. Yeah. <laughs> that can dick. easily destroy worlds yeah well. like That's the, you shouldn't then be again putting people up against things franchise. that they shouldn't be able to yeah. beat because then it's just like how did that happen yeah. man comics mm. man i'll never i'll never make sense of it i don't read enough if you have a comic you'd like to recommend for boneyard to read <laughs> over the christmas holidays please send us a link in the description below wait we do the description or even, in or even the, the name or even the name of the comic works yeah yeah we <laughs> can just download it i guess Anyway, uh, how many fishies out of 10 would you give Aquaman? I think I said eight after I watched it and had a good think about it. Yeah. I say eight because you can have a good night with watching the Aquaman movie. Yeah. Um, again, when it comes back to rewatchability, though, I'd have to give it like a six and a half, mainly because I would but wouldn't choose to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. No, I am sticking with a firm six and a half. Like, I think I, in- I found myself enjoying it after I finished watching it, but then I picked it apart too much. And not that it's a bad movie, but... Yeah, six and a half, I think, is a very suitable rating. Pretty yeah, solid. I was sitting in the sort of six and a half, maybe a seven if I was being super generous, but really six and a half, yeah. maybe even a six. Because yeah. I'm, you know, a Plus, I think you missed, you missed half of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, that's why I'm a little bit like, I, I don't know how hard to be on it, but from a technical point of view, I wouldn't give it more than a six and a half because yeah. it just wasn't there for me. Fair. Where do you see it? Gibby. <laughs> I I didn't think it sucked as hard as other DC movies, but that's not saying much. So yeah. I'm on a s- six and a half for like the first time that you go and watch it. Maybe seven, but like probably a six. Yeah, just because <laughs> I'm hard on DC yeah. movies yeah. and like they've got a, they've got they've burnt you too many times. They've I, got a lot to make well, up for. And I also <laughs> like people were talking it up. Like people were like, oh yeah, this might be a, this is a really good DC movie. I'm like that doesn't yeah. say a whole lot like the batman movies are fucking sick mm. i think the only reason it gets talked up though is because it's literally jason momoa playing himself yep. yeah and that's he's fucking worth it 100 percent. jason momoa he's, is worth yeah. it. he's worth it yeah this makes me feel like this movie makes me feel like dc who has looked at what marvel's done yep and they've gone you know what aquaman is our thor he's got the comedy yeah, relief yeah that's true he's got that hunkiness yeah mm-hmm. we're gonna give him the role and the lines where he is funny, he does dumb shit and it's laughable. He and he's a hard cunt, he it. drinks, he's but a fucking, he's a lad, you know? Yep. And when he, when we need him, he'll save the day. Yep. You know? And everyone and will be like, oh, he cares. Wow. That's this. Give me a boner. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm pretty Back sure I seat. saw someone photoshopped uh, a poster to say fish Thor. Yeah, or wet was, Thor. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. I don't know. That was literally like as yeah. we were walking yeah. on the blue carpet, there were things like that on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's yeah. Wow. True, yeah. And that was kind of that was a discussion we had on the way home. I was like, I feel like this is like they just look at the formula that works for for Marvel, mm. and they take a look at it and say, well, you know what, we have a guy like that. Yeah, but I know a guy. It didn't work as well. Well, no. So I, what are they missing? I just think that they just can't get it this right. Plus, it's hard to make light of something that is purely dark. Yeah. And I think DC is meant to be purely dark. Yeah. It always has been. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's hard for them to follow <clears throat> that formula that's winning for Marvel and be super successful with it. Yeah. Find your own feet, motherfuckers. Do something yourself. Yeah, do something. Make good. a fucking gritty. Yeah. Make a fucking scary and shit. Yeah. Um, they tried. I've Batman versus half Superman. Of my, uh, custard. Half your custard. Yeah, you better catch up. Get onto ah. your nog. Chloe, please. Mm, Control sorry. yourself. There's one more thing that I want to talk about, just very oh, yeah? quickly. Um, because this is kind of still be recent by the time this comes out. Uh, the Men in Black International trailer. Yes. Oh, yeah. I just want to know what everybody's kind of thinking on that. Because I watched it. And whilst I think it's totally unnecessary to bring back the Men in Black, I fucking love the story of Men in Black because I fucking love aliens and shit. <laughs> yeah. 
And so I was excited. But then I was like, uh, this feels like like a Thor movie. It's like it's meant to be really funny, blah, 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 bits of action and stuff. But I just I just really want Men in Black to come back. So I was like, yeah, I'm keen. I mean, I can honestly say I haven't seen it. You haven't like, seen it. I'm not, I think I'm it came out today, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not in the today? loop on this yeah. one, so I'll probably have to you look can, back again. No, I can look it up again. It, yeah. It's got what's her face and what's his face. It's Man, got the, the chick well. who is Valkyrie from the Thor, Thor movie. Ah, her. And I like she's this. alongside Chris Hemsworth. And the new Men in Black. Liam Neeson, I and think, Liam is Neeson in it. Liam Neeson is like, what's his name? Q? Oh, J? maybe I did see parts of it and I went through it because I didn't like the look of it. Sorry. I saw... A couple of frames of it and overheard most of it from the back of your <laughs> phone this morning while I was doing stuff. And um, Was she squawking with excitement? Were you implying I wasn't doing stuff? <laughs> you, you were doing research for our fabulous bed. podcast, clearly. I wasn't. Um, I just wanted to anyway. <laughs> it sounded to me a little bit like the Ghostbusters reboot. I don't know why, but some of the humor and like yeah, sass that actually, I was hearing I was a little it. bit <laughs> like <laughs> Ghostbusters. That was comment, just the right reference, yeah, wasn't it? That's my <laughs> comment was... It, like they almost could have put <laughs> Melissa McCarthy next to Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth. Oh, now I'm not and as just excited. been like Men in Black and, I'm <laughs> and, like, and, have her uh. yeah. and sh- you see her in scenes where she's like trying to escape an alien or chase it and she's, get she's stuck running in and she's like things. falling down and yeah. shit and everyone's like yeah. gosh and you see her get stuck and you can hear her doing that <laughs> yeah. on the other uh, side of the fucking thing <laughs> little help on. or yeah. some shit oh my yeah, god yeah. fuck he's ruined it for it's me totally like I mean I know like not that I know, but you can sense that they kind of feared that the backlash of Men in Black coming back with two new people. Wow, that was hard to say. Um, with two new people might be something that people don't like. So they've gone like Men in Black International. Yeah. It's not the same people, but we we'll replace them. And they're in England. It's or a different some place. Shit. Whoa. And we cast a non English person to, to play a, yeah. a, a British person. I don't get that. Like, I didn't. Why? I'm so. I'm, oh. There are some really good fucking like British actors, right? No, yeah. Get some, get yeah. Some, Loads get them. of them. No, they're, yeah. gr- no, they're a All great of them, British ever. Guy. No, no, let's not extend it. Idris Elba. Give me, yeah, Idris Elba would have been great. He would have been fucking, oh, oh fuck. Oh. Give, me, give me some actual, like, you know, people who live there, mm-hmm. who who rep that place. Yeah, but like, Chris Hemsworth's so hot right now. And yeah, like, he can be hot in Australia. But like, is he so funny right now? I don't know. I think he's, I think he's just hot. Yeah. But like, is he funny? Because his roles now in every fucking movie he gets into is him trying to be comedic. I Maybe he wants to, and he wants to try and break into that. And like, so he's insisting that they skew films yeah. towards that for him also what it made me think of because there was mention of it earlier but i don't think they'll follow through with it was that men in black we're gonna actually do a tie-in after this with mm. 21 jump street so we were gonna have the two guys from that you with the men attention. in black people <laughs> crossing over just doing like a crossover i reckon it's bullshit and i think that that was just early rumors where they were like yeah. this would be sick yeah but i want that if now. that was to happen i don't know how well Hemsworth and the chick I can't remember her name it's Jackie something I think um, I've not seen her in many movies but having those two with the other two yeah fucking what are their Jonah names Hill Jonah Hill and Channing, Hill and Channing Tatum. Tatum fucking love those I don't guys I think they could match up to, to Jonah they Hill and Channing Tatum they couldn't bring it to that level no they, well, I mean don't, those I movies were so good yeah, like, that's what I mean <laughs> they're so stupid but they're so good and, and then they played good. out that 23 yeah, exactly. Jump Street together. idea in the credits like they were just taking the piss out of that anyway yeah so Tessa Thompson I Tessa. That's it, yeah. Someone on, in the comments called her Jackie, and I was like, the fuck? Jack, Jack, Jackie. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. she's making everyone gay. Yeah. <laughs> it cool. says Tessa Thompson wearing a suit in Men in Black, yep. straight girls going extinct across the globe as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. She looks really yeah. good. I no, think it's got its points. Yeah. It's got its points. But it, I think it'll be a, let's just make it overly funny and not about what it was originally in the first place and it should have stayed. Which as, is quite a shame. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see when it comes out. I mean, the same kind of heat is being given to Hellboy right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Because that's being mm, pushed down an R-rated comedy path instead of an R-rated horror path. Like they so like Deadpool. Said. But so, yeah. Deadpool was hyper violent and it was fun. Yeah. What are you doing? There's half a day's worth of calories in this yeah That's fuck. what did you think a <laughs> well, carton of custard i didn't think about it and then i thought about it just now and i was like 10 serves and i'm already more than halfway finished mm. and i was like okay i don't know how to read calories uh <laughs> kilojoules and you just divide kilojoules by eight four. People, Gabby. am i eight people how yes. does that serve eight and this serves 10 when this is half the size of that because it's, uh, it's also heavier oh you know why do you know why it's because serving size is dictated by the product they choose so coca-cola if you buy a big bottle has 10 serves if you buy a can the can is one serve the actual content changes 
based on the serving size that they choose. Yeah. Which is stupid. They That's set why the serving size grand. because they want you not to die. Well, this is a bit of the same product. Like, they're like, oh, yeah. But Illuminati in a, confirmed. In a big bottle, you're only meant to have 200 mils. But in the can, you can have nearly 400. Anyway, I think it is time for Dan to fucking chow oh. down on some nugs and nogs. So, we're not going to isolate me this year. No, right? we're going to fucking gonna watch. No, 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 no. We want to watch your we'll suffering so up close. We'll be so supportive. Yeah, it'll be Excellent. cute. We'll talk I'm going to abandon you in the Love toilet it. tonight. You're going to be by yourself for three hours. Great. It's going to be good, guys. So, right. Stick around. Catch up on the bodyguard it. on Netflix. <laughs> stick around after the break. It's going to be the noggining part two. All right. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we've done some shuffling around. We've uh, poured some nog and it is a <laughs> it's that fucking bucket, man. Good times. Every time I look over and I can hear the... I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm My like, nervous as fuck hands. Dan in his fucking bucket. You'll be fine. Michael All you're doing J. is foxing <laughs> in my seat. I'm fucking scared. I love him. He's so good. I know. He's beautiful. <laughs> um, this is certainly a thing. It's a tradition now. You've got a fucking skull eggnog because you were like, I'm going to drink eggnog on the podcast. It'll be great. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, great. And so we've topped it off with some nugs for you to mm, make it look even so better. Tasty. Eggnogs. Uh, you, this is officially the eggnog challenge. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. Part. The noggining. The yeah. Noggining. And we decided to include ourselves this time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought this, like, I think we discussed this. We thought this year it would be way cooler if we just sat around the table and continued some cool Christmas discussion. I don't know. If- well, I attempted to just work my way through this. And I did say early on that every fifth one would come from a shoe. Where's the shoe? It's here. Oh, you have your right shoe? Josh will model the shoe. Shall I reveal the shoe? Show the shoe. This is a special shoe. Custom shoe. made for me by my buddy, Matt. Thanks, Matt. We love um, you. We saw Matt in Texas. Yeah, and cool I just guy. thought that this would be a perfect time to, to really get that shoe involved. Yeah. Um, in in some things, boneyard so. stuff. Yeah. It's so. involved now. Oh, it's part of the crew. Part of the crew. You can hang it's it up on your Christmas tree if it doesn't like fucking Christmas. stink. Yeah. I yeah. thought you were going to do shoeies of um, alcohol. I thought that's what you were doing. I thought you were going to do five and I then a gonna, shot. Yeah, I was going to put a shot into the eggnog. That's in the shoe. Look, you know what? That can still happen. I do have alcohol around here somewhere. I'm, we can I'm, make that happen. I'm a sympathetic puker. Yeah. I fucking maybe puke a fifty-fifty nog, nog, nog and beer that. mix. Oh, I'm yeah, so 50, not keen. Yeah, guys, beer. we need to be adults. I'm just gonna work my way. Like start. you might want to get, you might want to get get onto that. Okay. Okay. Give it a lick. It's it's oh. gonna be. Oh, nug first. Cheers, cunts. Cheers, guys. Cheers, buddy. Good luck. Oh, I don't have a drink. <laughs> That's all right, Chloe. Cheers, Chloe. You can you can drink Dan's throw up. <laughs> Ew. Like a bird. There's a. There's a cup. Hey, you can do your cup. I can give you a cup, oh, but wait. you'll you're have to. You're doing all the videoing as well. <laughs> Chloe, I've just noticed that you're for vertical vertical filming. Don't you? Oh, for the gram. That makes more sense. How was the first cup? You oh, should just right. throw oh, it in there. I like eggnoggies. Or, is good. No, put them back on the table. Oh, just a the, lot. Does the chicken make, actually make the, help with the flavor? It's a progress bar. Oh, God. So, Christmas. Because yeah, you need to puke in that. Uh, we've got our beautiful Christmas background, by the way, which yeah. I thought was it real fucking it's good. It's so hot in here it's that we so needed warm. a fire to remind us of that. How bullshit is Australian Christmas? Well, it's great because we got a white Christmas over the last, like, you know, since last week when I said oh, about, yeah. oh, you might get a white Christmas if it hails. Guess what happened? It fucking hailed. Yeah. Ridiculous like, hail. And I thank think God Bambi, for it. Bambi took a photo. Did you see the fucking yeah. hailstone that Bambi like had? Big. It was it was literally it was like huge. palm of the hand size. It we, was we had them, mental. Like, this big? Uh, yeah. Mm. By the time it hit the city, people were getting golf ball size bucket. That's yeah. fucked. We had the little pellet size when Josh and I were out at Warringah Mall going shopping for Christmas shit. And um, I was we so were happy outside. My car was undercover. And it was like the recent um, upgrades to Warringah Mall was that they put like all this cover and stuff up. Like, so it used to be like really outdoorsy, but they've put up like all this plastic, like um, w- weatherproofing and shit. And it's like the sound of hail. Just fucking going ape shit on the plastic is scary as fuck. It was fuck, one of man. the loudest things I've heard it from nature because it was just like a massive drum skin being pounded like a hundred thousand times a yeah. second. Yeah, it's like when you walk in on it's your crazy. parents and your dad's balls are slapping. Yeah, that's... it's exactly that. It's the <laughs> yeah, that's it's the it's, wet it's, sound. <laughs> it happens. It, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of sweat involved. How this you is, doing? It's early days. You have to record the whole thing. You no, record I thought I was recording no, the whole no, thing. That's why I'm so discussion. confused right now. I am joining. <laughs> I'm making the little piping oh, little Jesus. comments every I, now I, and again. I turned the thing the wrong like, way. <laughs> I was actually really lucky. Like one of my work colleagues mic. dropped me just before the hail hit where I work. Dropped you where? Like through a table? No, because I was on the train when the hail was hitting. Chloe's balls just got decked. I was unconscious for most of it, so it was okay. So you got dropped at the station Yeah, I got dropped at the station because literally like just 
I it broke out <clears throat> just as I got onto the platform, so I was really oh, yeah, really yeah, lucky yeah. then. This is, this oh, is this is oh okay. Prison. Here we go. No, wait, wait, wait! Don't you no. fucking dare. Okay. Ew. Get first. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh god. <sighs> that is a lot. Oh, I also just realized that this was in the Texas heat. Oh, and I wore this in the that's gross. Oh, God. Shaking. No, don't, don't shake, babe. Hmm. <laughs> I'm actually empathizing for him now. I thought I'd be laughing more. <laughs> this is so fucked. Don't ruin your Kelly Kapowski shirt. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm going to wear my face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That like, didn't look very nice. <laughs> no. Okay. It could be that's worse. That's the first row down. <laughs> okay, well, one liter of nog in. Only okay. 15 wow. more to go. That's gross. I'm going to stack these for you. Yeah, I was going to say, I can help with this. All right. So, I believe last week I asked a question. (laughs) Oh, I didn't even think about that. We were going to answer this week. I will. Oh, yeah, the question. Mm. Uh, Dan asked what our best gift that we've ever given was, and we were told. What was the, like, craziest, weirdest, maybe it was the shittest gift you've ever given, and you felt bad about it, but didn't know what to do, so you gave it anyway. I totally forgot to think of an answer. I was just curious because, had one. (laughs) Okay, well, if you guys don't have any... I, I had one that occurred to me and it was, I think it was the first year we were dating. I got you a swarm of lizards. Yeah, he did. Because, what? Because is... girls like swarms of lizards. Josh Wait, learned, thing? Josh learned from, everything from... he knows from Futurama. Oh, God. Fry on, on Christmas in uh, one of the episodes, I can't remember the name now, but it's one of those ones with Santa and he's got his like rocket launcher on his shoulder and stuff. <laughs> and Fry is out after, uh, not midnight. Whatever the time is when Santa shows up, he's out after sunset and he's trying to get Leela a present and he's being all romantic. And he's at the pet no. shop trying to buy her something. And he can have the parrot or the stink lizards. <laughs> and girls like swarms of lizards, right? Yes. So we went into National Geographic and got like, you know, those rubber lizards that you can like stretch and shit. Yeah. yeah bought me like f- like 50 of those kinds. Awesome. You yeah, actually played full. with them, didn't you? I did. Like, I you did. sat down on the floor and you were just like, bang. Well, my mom got super pissed. She's like, why the fuck are all these lizards here? And I'm like, you know that boy that I'm dating? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, he got them for me. And she's like, he's a dud cunt. Get rid of him. I'm like, no, he's all right. wearing the Sesh Gremlin hat. How fucking... Can I, okay, so if we're talking about best presents ever, right? Dan got me this fucking hat. You probably won't be able to see, see it. So we'll put a picture here. Josh, don't forget. And it's a picture. Sorry, I probably forgot. It's a gremlin and he's got a little joint and he's got a beer and he's having a fucking great time. But look at the flap. Look at the sun flap. <laughs> My God, you're Fuck you guys. Sun safety is so no fucking joke. Yeah. You look like the cutest little child. I, <laughs> I got carded at the um at the uh at the wine the, the cellar Bev place. Dispensary. Yeah, the Bev dispensary today. I was buying wine for Josh's mom. Um and the guy was like, Oh, can I just see your ID? And I'm like, Yeah, sure, no worries. And he looked at it and I'm like, I'm twenty seven next year. And the dude's like, Fucking really? And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, Oh, that, wow, good jeans. So I'm like, Yeah, I, I suppose. And he's like, Do you want a bag? And I'm like, well, I don't want to look like a 12-year-old walking around with wine. Did like, you charge you 10 cents? <laughs> huh? Did you charge you 10 or 15 cents? No. Oh. No, oh, this is a paper what? bag. Okay. Oh, well, well. Get like this a homeless right. person. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. I, I picked up Dan from- on the street. <laughs> I picked up Dan from a Christmas party the other night and naturally because we've left at like 1.30 in the morning or something and Dan is like off his tits, he's like, we need to go to 7-Eleven. So we walk into 7-Eleven, get the things that we need and we bought a fair few things including two pies and two drinks for said lad. <laughs> and we were like, okay, we still need to walk back to the car. Can we have a bag? And the guy goes, oh, you've paid for it already. It's another 15 cents. And Dan's just like, another 15 cents? Really, mate? You're going to charge me 15 cents for a bag? I'm like, Daniel, shut the fuck up. Here's the 15 cents for the bag. And he's still going on about this bag. I just pictured cents. Dan just trying to like climb over the car being like, no, 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 no. no it, it was the. Oh, yeah. The. Yeah, I, I know the dance. I just feel like, like I mean, I understand the fifteen cent thing. I'm not even against it. I love the idea of doing it because yeah, it means less it's people good. get bags and then fuck the world up with it, which is great. But I feel like they need to have like a sign or some kind of yeah. Like, let let people know before yeah. you get there, and you're like, bitch, I'm short fifteen just cents. It's like you tell can't me have the a bag. block is extra. If, the, yeah. if you let me know, I'll do it up front so that or I'll include it in my payment to you. <laughs> not after I've paid for it. You're like, see, ya, and I'm like, can I get a bag? And you, then you're like, it's fifteen cents, and I'm like, fuck. There's some nog in your beard. And it's, <laughs> as you were saying that, it just went rip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting numb good. flashbacks to last year because yeah. I remember seeing the close ups of like it dripping because oh, he had a longer yeah. beard at that point and it was dripping down to this bit. I'm getting the numb flashbacks too because I'm starting to fucking hey. feel it. Are we up to yeah. another fifth? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, should we? 
Can someone Where's give me... Where's the fourth cup? What do you want? Oh, you want the... You that want the, one. The yeah, right, give me these. Yeah. I'll put... There's one cup missing? Eat, eat your no. nugs and then yeah. down your nog. The, no, he's doing it. He's oh, oh, you done. done. You've been stacking as we go. Them. That's yeah. why. Okay. Ew. Oh, I thought you were going to do like piles of five so you nah, can... Nah, I'm lazy. Like a progress Gotta bar. Go shuffle these down. Shuffle them down to Daniel so we can get them in him quicker. Yeah, sir. Because he doesn't have a lot of time to do this. <laughs> we're on a time limit here, well, That's true. You have to do this within... The next 20 minutes. <laughs> you look so happy, babe. Like, How are you doing? Are you that right? Christmas spirit is just so embodied right now. <laughs> He's going to fucking re- projectile the Christmas spirit into the top. I'm going to regret this decision. <laughs> I'll take a sip of the, uh, what, what did I call this before? I don't know. Solidarity custard. That's the solidarity right. custard. The solidarity custard. Dan, you're shaking. <laughs> I'm so bad, As Dan completes his second liter, I will complete my first. Uh, well, He's had two liters in like 10 minutes. That's a lot. But Joshy, you're a well. good lad for drinking with him. I appreciate that. I just really like custard. I'm going to let that puddle down and I'll oh, have the dregs later. I hold your shoe. Ew. How are oh, you doing, dear. buddy? You're doing real well. <laughs> How's that doing? Right. I'm also the- really scared about that one solid nugget that we were <laughs> Oh, it, Which one? It's that one. one. I think it's that. No, isn't it that one? The one in the front there? I think they're kind of soaking up the... And I'm scared of this one because it looks oh, like someone you know bit it into it before they put it in the box. It's both of these. And I'm like, really... It's this one. It's, it's, this one. it's both of them. Though. Oh, this, God, that's this rock one, solid. This one's Dude. rock solid, and ah! this one is like over fried and also rock solid. Ah. And let it just be known to everybody these nugs have been sitting around for at least. Half an Three hour. hours. More, more no, than wait. half an hour because we recorded for Three half an hour. Hours. And I bought them for, I bought them 20 minutes before you came. So. All right. So they've been around for a good hour and a half at this yeah. point, oh, I would no. guess. No, not three hours. No? Probably an no. hour and a half at this point. So yeah, they're be- freezing cold. That was solid. They're it's floppy. stuck in the throat. Oh, no, it was definitely two hours and 15 Small minutes ago. We got them at 7.30. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yes. Small there you go. Two-hour-old nugs. Small. Oh, gone. Ah. Lick it. Ew, I saw all of it. Wash it down it with wrong. some more nog. <laughs> Wait, how does the chicken look? What chicken? The chicken that was in his mouth. Describe it to me, no, Gabby. No, it's a masticated <laughs> chicken carcass in him. Oh, boy, buddy. You know it's like illegal in, like, jello. 49 states? Chicken that carcass. is not what I said. Oh, <laughs> Can you die from this? To... The what? chicken carcass. Do you want me to Google that for you? You are lactose intolerant, so I'm pretty sure it's not very good for you. Over consumption. Somebody, very- hang on, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna phone a friend. Mm-hmm. No, don't. Uh, <laughs> ask her you, I know are she's you, calling her sister. You your can sister speak is. It. Your sister might be asleep right now. Hey, you now. know what? If we had that road podcast, this would be the one time we could use a feature from it. <laughs> Hey, Hi. Uh, Dimitri, you're uh, on the Boneyard Arcade podcast right now while Dan is consuming eggnog. Howdy, bonus. Hey. <laughs> um, we just want to know if you can die from eggnog overdose. Is there alcohol in the eggnog? No. You're I'm severely safe. I'm severely lactose intolerant. You're going to have a bad time. <laughs> but he won't a, die. He won't die. Probably not. Yeah, well, his insides your body die. Tends to get rid of those things before you get to the lethal stage, yeah, cool. so you're gonna have a bad time, but yeah, you're yeah. probably not gonna die. Well, that's last, what the buckets for. Yeah, yeah. last <laughs> year, last year I had two and a half liters, and it felt like someone, like I had literal knives. It felt like I'd swallowed razor blades. Yeah. Nice. I'm okay, at well, that prepare point for now. the purge. <laughs> All right. Thank you for okay. your scientific uh, opinion, there, buddy. Thank you, Doctor Dimitri. We love you. You're Hopefully we'll have you on the podcast next year. Bye, buddy. See ya. Okay, there you go. You won't die. Cool. You're just, you know, not going to have a great time. Four liters of nog. Recommended by a doctor. I don't have doctor. first aid. What if he goes into like a convulsive state? Hang on, hang on. Who knows first aid here? No one. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to die. I've seen some <laughs> stuff. Is that the hard one? That's gross. <gasps> ah! It's like a fucking rock. Do that one more time without people yelling. That's fucked up. There's no giving that nog. I didn't yell that oh, bad. Fuck. Wow, you can't even rip that. Oh, don't eat that one. That's not worth What's it. What's wrong with that? That's a bullshit nugget. Do you know what that is? <laughs> it's, it's bullshit. You know how nuggets are... Uh, Ew! That's, that's going to look even prettier when it gets puked in. That's oh, not- man. Is that is that a kerosene bucket from that one time? <laughs> <laughs> I remember oh, that. I was that drinking. Was so weird. Like, I had don't ice in it. After I, I had mad headaches. <laughs> I, I was drinking, like, I was putting, taking ice from that bucket and putting it in my drink. And I'm like, so why does this taste so like petrol? Bad. We it's, all were. Because it was all over everyone's hands because we've been scooping it. Yeah. And, like, the beer bottle, shits. the label was soaked in it. It was like, oh. I'm keen for uh, another amazing uh, New bad. Year's night at Dan's place. We get, we get to do themed parties at Dan's place every time. And, like, this year he was like, I don't want to do something too complicated. So, he just said, fuck it, 80s. 
And so now I'm just like, fluoro, and are you wearing your jazzercise gear for that? I am. I'm going to be wearing my weird science outfit, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love that outfit, mostly because there's no bra involved. I might have to put one on at least halfway through. Okay, fine. I won't wear a bra. Okay, good. Look at your, look at, that's your, that's your future husband. It's not going well. <laughs> I feel like alcohol would have assisted the situation. Dan, you fucking smashed it this year. Hey, you've broken your personal best. I'm so proud of you, babe. You've got like another shoey lined up next. And a solid nugget. Hey, you still got to get through this one before we get to the next shoey. (laughs) Just sip it. (laughs) Sip it good. He looks so... I'm just rolling the nugget in my mouth because I can't even swallow it. (laughs) I'm just hoping it dissolves into a paste. Get a couple spreading. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is cute. Oh my God. Yes. Say happy. happy. <laughs> Ew, Josh, that's gross too. Oh, shit. He's done that before. <laughs> What's your stripper name, Josh? Now let me spit it into your mouth, then you spit it back. A mama bird. <laughs> Dan, you want me to mama bird? No, I think, to I think it's you? called snowballing. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. I have snowballed a guy before. Wait. Not him. One of the past ones that we don't talk about. No, I, I was going to ask what to snowball again. It's when a dude jizzes in a girl's mouth and then she like, she pretends to take it and then she like leans up and kisses him and blows it back into his mouth. <gasps> yeah, it's not pleasant. Dan, you ever been snowballed, buddy? <laughs> I'm a kind person. I wouldn't do that. I'm not. I'm no, but I understand. <laughs> Guys. Terrible news. Don't what? worry about this. My liter of custard is done, and I'm um, very sad about that. No, what will you fucking do? I don't you want know. some chocolate milk? Maybe. Dan, would you Ooh. like some chocolate milk? Put chocolate milk into my custard tub. No. No. Pour it in. No. Let me you shake it up. the chocolate milk that way? Just a little bit. Just no. to you know, loosen up the rest of the custard. How you doing, buddy? It's like when you put that little Not bit of good? water in the jar to get the rest of the sauce Wait, out. You got a little nog. Oh, God, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Ew. I'm just rubbing God, it in your beard to spread it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I would not. If, if I was doing this, I would not want to be touched. No. I wouldn't want anybody to come into contact with me See, ever. See, I know he doesn't like it. That's why I do it. It's when I'm drunk and throwing up and she's in the bathroom being like, Dan, it's been 15 minutes. And I'm just like... Chloe, just, fuck off. He, he gets so angry. Just That's why off. I just do Sudoku while I watch him puke now. Just leave like me alone. When we were in Texas and we had big night, because I'm not very good at drinking, I tend to stop. Dan is very good at drinking, so he keeps going. We went back to the hotel room the first year that we went. Oh, that's and cool. I remember putting him on the porcelain bus. I'm like, right, you ride this. You need anything, just yell. I am not going to fucking sit here with you, though. And I went out. And he's like... He closed the door. I'm like, I need to know you're not dying in there. And he's like, I'm okay. <laughs> and I'd go in every five minutes and just kind of stick my head in. And he was like, See, I was like, that's fine. One of the last times like, I was in the bathroom with him, Ooh, I skin. was literally there with water and Powerade like, to give to him every time he needed it. Because he kept on falling asleep on the toilet bowl. Yeah, you just and he got, him. He got so annoyed with me. He literally kicked me out. Like literally like with his foot, shoved me out of the bathroom and shut the door. These are nice shoes and you're yeah, drinking do, out Do you of need them. your shoey now? Yeah, can you You should um, fill it up for him. He's looking a little rough <laughs> over here. Dan, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but no, you've, only, yeah. you've only got about Gabby, Dan 10, doesn't trust 12 me to minutes it. to get this knocked out. Thank bless you, don't let me do it. Do you know what? I, got it. I don't trust you to pour it either after I saw your attempt to fill that cup. I've never seen somebody half open uh, a milk container so that there was like a hole where it couldn't breathe back in. So it was glug, glug, glugging every time. Oh, that yeah, smells so fucking... Yeah, that was why it spilt everywhere because it was like only going through a tiny hole. This, I'll just put this on the table for you, buddy. Mm. I'll just, just put this here. Just give him his cup. We'll, just, we'll give you a minute, yeah? It's going to be okay. You, want a minute? you need a minute, buddy? We I want can't follow this. <laughs> I hope you scotch guarded the inside of these because otherwise it's just going to start leaking out. Do you want me to get Moxie to come and help you? <laughs> She'll just she'll, just, she'll <laughs> eat your puke. She'll just drink your puke. <laughs> she'll just give you lots and lots of kisses. I can't think. Like just spit it out. Just spit it out. Just you, spit it out. Do you think without the last five nugs, you'll be able to get through the last oh, five cups? God. Is is the nug becoming the problem? No, it's just a joint no. effort. Okay, okay. It's, it's a, a lot it's of purely stuff to volume. take in. You've done. Pass him the shoe. Josh, pass him the shoe. Good work, Josh. Be careful. Here you go. Ha- you go have your shoe. There you go, buddy. Great job, mate. This is the worst Boss. thing that we've ever done. Oh, it's Dan. leaking out of one of the holes in the side. Because <laughs> cons have holes in the that sides. That is not the only hole it'll be great. leaking out of. <laughs> Both ends. I love it. I just love it. It's so oh, good. this is beautiful. It's so good. Now, we should celebrate. Do you want to pass a cracker there, Joshy? Let's- I'll, I'll, right I'll, gra- I'll grab a cracker. 
I'll go this way. Actually, wait. I should take a picture of this. Dan, part. you wanna? Do you wanna just hold that shoe up again? Just oh, fuck. Just, just give me, just give me what I need here. <laughs> just... What Jason Momoa couldn't. That is, that's his name, right? That's all I got. You Sorry. did good, Joshy. Fuck. Alright, I can't. Open Don't need IMDb phone, for so that. I'm just gonna take a photo. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. Too late now. Beautiful. You want such a Christmas cracker? Oh, I'm getting in on that. Yeah, I need another get... hat. You want to get Christmas cracker? I need to eject. No. Oh god, I'm not ready. I have to. I'm in pain. So much pain. Chloe, don't hold me. I don't want to see this. I don't want to. He's going to do it. It's going to be bad. It's going to sound horrible. It's going to happen. Chloe, do a Christmas cracker with me. Do a Christmas cracker with me. Three. Oh, it didn't work. Did you win? I fucking keep losing. Oh, God. Oh, that stinks. Oh, which stinks? Spit. It was just spit. I'm not good at this. Stop, drop and roll! <laughs> so last year, I was pretty glad that I was sitting a good meter or two away. Now I'm like right in the front row of seats where you will get wet. Okay. <laughs> that, that was waterfally. <laughs> I've thrown up on my hands. <laughs> Gabby, listen to me. Stop sympathizing. Stop it. <laughs> what kind of a motorbike does Santa ride? A Holly Davidson. Oh my god. This is disgusting. I feel like we have to end the show. I can smell it. How you feeling, dude? Not good. Not good. Hey, on the plus side, everyone can see your triangle tattoo. <laughs> it's covered again, but it's stuck. There's a nugget stuck in there. Yeah. He smells better already. <laughs> I want to sit up, but I'll see the puke. This went way further than I thought it was going to. Uh, what? You didn't think this was going to happen? No, I did. Hey, uh, so... I need to get more out. We, it, got, it got violent, so we kind of had to censor it a little bit there. How you yeah. feeling, buddy? That bucket is looking pretty full. It's chunky. Blech. You need to puke more, buddy? Can okay. you drink more? No, he's done. This is it. No, this is no, this is done. You're done. You are one so more. done. One maybe, more. Maybe, maybe one more from a shoe. No, just uh, this one. Just someone, drink from a cup. No. Oh God, I'll no. Put it in the shoe oh. Now you, you can, can even have the have nugget. The shoe. You can have the nugget. I feel like. Oh my God. <sighs> See, he made room, and now he's got more for. You, know, you can finish that last liter. Do you want us to end the show, buddy? <laughs> Maybe wanna, one day you'll beat the eggnog. I don't think today is your fucking day, though. I'll drink to that. Yeah, drink it. You can have the nug. Eat the nug. Chloe, do you want the nug? Eat the nug. I'm not eating the nug. <laughs> Cheers to a good year of podcasts. Here's to another year of amazing podcasts <laughs> and friends throwing up. I'm <laughs> not cheersing you because fuck that. I will throw up. <laughs> no. He's eating like 15 of them. <laughs> It's like a custard tart. Yeah. It's not as good as custard. <laughs> Dan, you've got four minutes. I don't want to pressure you. My God, there's so much. <laughs> I felt fine until I started drinking the thing he's throwing up. Now I feel a little off. I feel like... It's time to end the show. Maybe it is. Uh, guys, thank you for a brilliant year of podcasts and the good times. We will remember those times while Dan throws up into his bucket. Remember, if you've liked the show for some reason, <laughs> subscribe. Buddy, you did so well, but you fucking failed. So next year, it'll be even more nog. You just have less cops. Less cops, more nog. Um... We'll see you in the new year. Don't worry, we'll be back. I'm Thanks for crying. Watching. I can't deal. I'm such a sympathetic vomiter. You did really well. Are we done? Merry yeah, Christmas, we're done. everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. See you Bye in 2019. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.